Continuing on with um, <coughs> June 2016 um, GCE, the uh, legacy paper, not the IAL paper. We've got question number five, part C. All right, we've got to show that an estimate of the mean weight of the babies is 3.43. Remember, the total number was 50. Okay, we're going to find the, the estimate of the mean weight. Okay, so um, to find the mean weight, okay, we know that there's one baby between one and two kilograms. We don't know exactly what weight they were, that baby was. So we say, okay, let's take the halfway value. And that's what they've done here. They've, they've given us <coughs> the midpoints of each of these. So that, that's helping us to answer this question. So eight babies were between two and three kilograms. We don't know their actual weights. So we say, let's estimate they were 2.5, just taking the halfway value. And that's what they've done. So in order for us to find an estimate of the mean weight, Okay, remember the mean is the total sum of all the weights of all the babies divided by the number of babies there are. Okay, so to find the total weights of all the babies, we've got to basically multiply the frequency by the midpoint, okay, for each of these categories and add them together. We get the sum of fx, that's the sum of all the estimated weights of the babies. Okay, so you have 1 times 1, which is 1. You have 8 times 2.5, which is 20. You have 17 times 3.25. Let's just resort to the old calculator here. So you have 17 times 3.25, which gives you 55.25. Uh, so here you have 55.25. Then you have uh, 17 times 3.75. Let's go back, change that to a 7. You get 200, no, you get, sorry, you get 63.75, 63.75, okay, and then you got 4.5 times 7, so you have 4.5 times 7, which gives you 31.5. If I add them together, I'm going to get the sum of all of the estimated weights of all those babies. So we start with 31.5 plus 63.75. 63.75. We're going to have plus. We've got 55.25. 55.25. We've got plus. And we've got um, 20. 21. 20 plus 1. Okay. So that gives us an, as the total sum, which is 343 over 2, which gives us 171.5. So we can say that the mean weight of all the babies, the mean weight is going to be, what did we just say? We said it was 171.5. 171.5 divided by the total number of babies, which is 50. And that will give us a mean weight. So divide that by 50. And it gives us 3.43. Okay, and that's what we had to show. So we know that we're on the right track. So 3.43 kilograms. Okay, so that's exactly what we were asked to show. So we know we're definitely on the right tracks there. And they helped us by giving us the midpoints. Okay, so that's how we find an estimate of the mean weight. Now we want to find an estimate of the standard deviation. Okay, the standard deviation tells us basically about the average um, variation of, um, you know, each, the average variation of the data entries from the mean, okay, how spread out they are from the mean. It gives us an indication of how spread out the data entries are from the mean value, okay. And there's some complicated formulas that we can use, but there's a simple one which, uh, you know, it simplifies to something that's easy for us to deal with, which is, um, you know, the variation, which is the square of the standard deviation, the variation, that's not the standard deviation, that's the square of the standard deviation. To find the standard deviation, we've got to square root this, is equal to the, the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. The mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. Now, the mean of the squares is basically where you take each of the entries, okay, which would be these midpoints here, okay, because we don't know what the entries are, and you would square them. So under 1 squared, 2.5 squared, 3.25 squared, 3.75 squared, 4.5 squared, and I'd add them together. And I'll divide that by the number of entries, which is 50. Okay, because it's 50 entries altogether. 
All right? So I would, I would, sorry, I would square them and multiply them by the frequency. So I'll say 1 squared times 1, 2.5 squared times 8, 3.25 squared times 17, 3.75 squared times 17, 4.5 squared times 7. Okay, that, that will give you the, 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 um, the squares of all the entries all together because there's one entry which is you know its its value is one there's eight entries value 2.5 so you square them and you multiply that by the frequency okay and that's exactly what we got here that's exactly what we got here so this actually become this actually means the sum of fx squared but divided by 50 which is the sum of the frequencies okay the sum of this 50 right this is the sum of the frequencies which is 50 Minus the square of the mean. Okay, so the mean value we got, which was basically, it was basically the sum of fx. Okay, the sum of fx, which is this, divided by the number of entries, but squared. That's basically what this means. So you're going to have the value they already gave us, they already helped us here, 611.375. That's what you get if you do. 1 1 squared times 1 and 2.5 squared times 8 and 3.25 squared times 17 and so on add them all together and then you divide that by 50 minus well we already found what the mean was it's 3.43 so you're going to have 3.43 and squared that's the mean of the squares the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean and that tells you the variation okay so that's the variation Okay, so that gives us, let's see what it gives us. So you're going to have 611.375 divided by 50. And you're going to take away from that 3.43 squared, and that gives us 0 0.4626. 0 0.4626 so the standard deviation which symbol is like this sigma is the square root of 0 0.4626 okay and that will give us an estimate of the standard deviation so you take the square root of our last answer and it gives us 0 0.6801 0 0.6801 0.6801 continues. So we can say 0 0.680 to 3SF. Okay, that's the standard deviation for the, the of the weights of these babies. Okay, 0 0.6. Let me just write that a bit neater. You should try and be as neat as you possibly as neat as possible for the examiner, not to have to strain his eyes to see answers. Okay, so there we have the standard deviation. Um, that's going to be in, in kilograms, of course. Okay, and our that's in kilograms. All right, so there we have our answers for 5C. I'm going to do 5D in a separate video because I need to collect together all the answers for that.